This video is going to be a summary of what we have talked about in regards to shadow work. And there will also be some new mindsets that can be very helpful. Anyone who wants to grow is going to have to go through the phase of growing. And it might not always be so comfortable. Especially if you want to accomplish so much all at once. It might not be such a wise move. You will have to overcome so many challenges. And whatever is bothering you throughout the day could only be things that you want to perform well within. Otherwise you wouldn't care. It couldn't bother you. You might want to make some changes and you have to go through the process of making that change. Before you have made the change, you might have to go through a process of facing your shadows, facing the parts of yourself that are stuck in the old mindsets. And if you're going to achieve too much over a short period of time, there might be too many shadows. If you care about too many things, then it can get a little messy. So what really matters to you right now? And what does not really matter? When you understand that it's perfectly okay to not know everything and to not have accomplished everything, then you can put aside those things that aren't so important for you right now and rather focus on the things that matter. And the one and only approach that you will ever go to whenever you catch a shadow is that you recognize what the shadow is, you recognize how you want it instead, and then you talk to yourself as if you have it the way you want it. You use your intent on having it the way you want it. Every time. There is no point in taking out the big tools for a simple little job. You use your main tool, your intent. If you didn't think that you can do it, then you switch it around. I know I can do it. And that's what you intend for and that's what you will experience. And it is if you were to recognize that using your intent like that wasn't enough that you might have to pull out some bigger tools if you recognize that the avatar, the inner child, is stubborn. If it really believes something so strongly that using your intent wasn't enough to pull it out. But you will see that your intent can only be as strong as your level of consciousness, your foundational understanding of what the game is and who you are is going to determine how efficiently the intent can work. And you will have to raise your frequency before the intent can be truly powerful, before you can use your intent with all sorts of things and have instant success. And what are the fundamental understandings that is going to make the intent so powerful? Essentially the efficiency of the intent is going to be limited by how efficiently it can flow. Meaning that if you have things coming in the way which can be misunderstandings about how things work or unforgiveness or a belief that you can't do it then it's very difficult to focus a strong intent on something and keep it there till you are experiencing the realm of the thing you were intending for. If you have unforgiveness, you might fall out 
very quickly and have a hard time making a successful change. And essentially you can achieve a strong intent in two ways. You can use your intent, become good at it, and unconsciously in the background things are going to get taken care of so that the intent can be truly strong. Or you can take the other route. Clean up in the things that previously would limit the efficiency of the intent. Clean up the things that would take away your focus. Take away the things that would simply come in the way misunderstandings about who you are or what is possible and a good mix of both of these techniques are going to be the most beneficial you complete forgiveness you complete your understanding that there is no right and wrong there is no sin and karma those things are so far down in the root of every possible choice you could make in this game and they will quickly come in the way of your intent and your focus if they aren't taken care of but like i said you go about your day without having to pull out the big tools all the time if you recognize that you're going to use your intent on something then you use your intent and you have success with it and it is only if something turns out to be very stubborn that you will pull out some bigger tools i'm going to talk about a mindset that sits very deep in the roots of your understanding of the game and it's going to make it possible to make the intent much stronger it's going to make it very natural for the avatar, the inner child, to not be stubborn, but to rather hold everything with the open hand and then naturally seek the source guidance. If you were to catch yourself having some programming that you don't want, you would like it a different way instead. Then what really has happened at that moment is that you have catched your inner child. And your inner child believes something. Something that isn't necessarily as beneficial as you would want it. It's not as freeing, not as empowering. And the inner child believes whatever it believes. Because it thinks it was the right thing. It thinks it had to be like that. If the inner child had a role model by their side someone to look up to who always knew what the best choice was the best way to perceive things someone to trust and the inner child didn't always have that but that's a choice you can make you can call it surrender to source fully and completely every part of yourself every part of the inner child do not hold so strongly on to the beliefs it has, but rather hold it with an open hand and look to source for guidance. This is an essential choice to not let the avatar, the inner child, run loose and believe whatever it thinks it has to believe. Do not take everything so seriously. It's going to be a lot easier to catch things on the go and make changes if the inner child has someone to look up to someone to trust someone to believe in and that's a choice you make so go about your day work towards the things that matter and the things that don't matter too much you can work with later and that is totally fine. You don't need to have accomplished everything. 
no one is perfect. And you use your intent before you pull out the big tools. You just figure out how you want things to be and you intend for it. And the inner child has a role model. It changes its mind easily. It retrieves home easily. And it is testing to make big changes. But that's okay. You will get there. You have probably experienced the challenges that comes with making big changes. It can be somewhat overwhelming. You will encounter the remaining issues that must be resolved for you to have made that change, for you to experience that change. Questions might arise about whether or not you can do it, whether or not you have what it takes. And there are certain choices for each and every one of us that is going to make it much easier to deal with these big changes. You really should try putting up the white walls. Take a deep breath, relax, enter your secret garden. Put up the white tall walls, see them, feel the peace and the safety of being in your own secret garden. Where the grass is green and the sky is light blue and you're comfortable, peaceful, relaxed. Your eyelids are so relaxed. You're in a place of complete healing where your inner child naturally heals completely, retrieves home, a safe place where you're experiencing complete peace. Going to this place now and then can make it much easier to stay strong in times where you're being tested or in times where you're encountering the different things that must be taken care of for big change to happen. Stay in touch with your peace. And in that peace, you know perfectly well what matters and what doesn't. It's going to be easier to hold everything with an open hand, to stay sharp, to not give in to the things that aren't so important. Besides that, doing things that you enjoy, keeping yourself busy with things that are interesting, enjoyable. Overeating can make the mind a bit more active. Or eating a lot of heavy foods. Getting good sleep, good hydration. It's really down to the simple basics. Simply choosing those simple basics can often be the best medicine. So if you benefited from this video, kindly consider becoming a supporter. This is all possible thanks to the supporters. Big thanks to all supporters. Abundance, health and prosperity to you. Thank you so much.